a little oral history of the Holy Toaster. So the Holy Toaster, the first version I think was in 2005 roughly, and that was um, inspired primarily by two things. The one was the, it was a grilled cheese sandwich I think, and a woman had kept it in her freezer and then pulled it out of her freezer and sold it on eBay. I'm not even sure it was Jesus, I think it was Mary on her sandwich. And it sold for $28,000 to a casino in Vegas, I believe. And I had also seen, a friend of mine had a Hello Kitty toaster, which toasts Hello Kitty in the side of, in the side of the toast. So, you know, putting two and two together, it was just a, and having access to a water jet cutter, because I was in grad school, um, meant that I could make this toaster. Although I claimed that I found it rather than made it. So as a scientist, I couldn't explain it. It's just how all the toast came out. Um, and actually the original one was stolen off my porch, which was kind of exciting to think of someone stealing a toaster and then finding out that all the toast that comes out of that toaster is Jesus toast. I, I hope they felt they had a vision or communication. Um, so I built a second toaster, which was in a couple more shows. The very first art show that the original was in went through eight loaves of bread on opening night, three jars of jam, and uh, it also it filled the gallery with a smell of toast, which is a great great smell and that was not something I had thought of before but it really it added a lot it was a an awesome part of the piece um, and now uh, now making kits what's next Che Guevara toast Obama toast we'll find out